financial storms developed in many parts of the globe this year and battered advanced economies. Although not immune from the global economic crunch, the Philippine economy proved its resilience. Del de Vera scrutinizes the gusts of financial pinches in the national economy. The Aquino administration may feel proud about its advancement in terms of running after several former officials in pursuit of what it calls justice. But not everybody was impressed with this. Many would say that despite these achievements, the problem in the economy has not been addressed. An economist gives President Benito Aquino III a failing mark in his efforts to hasten economic growth. 70. UB Economics professor Benjamin Zocno explains that the government failed to implement the projects it laid out for 2011. Zocno adds the issue on unemployment remains along with poverty. At the moment, current statistics say that one out of four Filipinos is either underemployed or unemployed, and one out of three Filipinos is poor. Poverty uh, has not improved, I think, for the last 10 years. So we can blame the Aquino administration for that, but uh, and it takes a while before you can actually make a difference. He says he's giving the president a 70% mark because it seems that the president forgot to put the economy in his priorities. He points out the slow implementation of the public-private partnership program of the current administration. He also explains that the administration started with a plan last year but began only with just one project this month. Jokno also points out the weak exports in 2011. But for an ordinary Juan who expects that his life may be easier after the president vowed to eradicate poverty, it seems that nothing has changed. Although some people acknowledge the efforts of the president in fighting poverty, they believe it is still not enough. Napakabigat po ng pamumuhay namin year 2011. Mayarap yung income ngayon, yung source of income. Parang lalong naghirap. Walang pagbabago. <laughs> Parang mas humirap pa. Social Economic Planning Secretary Cayetano Paderanga admits the administration's shortcomings. The governance review of the spending procedures in government led to a temporary slowdown. The National Economic Development Authority Director General, however, stresses that despite the flaw, measures were already put in place. He adds the country's economy has emerged fine amid the global financial crisis. Authorities' effective policy response, as well as strong external liquidity and a sound financial sector, help moderate the economy against the global recession and foster a strong improvement. The Philippine government remains somewhat more optimistic over the outlook for growth, although the NEDA has recently lowered its expectations. The agency is now predicting that GDP will expand by between 4.5% and 5.5% this year, down from earlier projections of 8% and by 5% to 6% in 2012. Although the economy's rate of growth is expected to ease, the Philippines continues to fare well compared with its neighbors. Eclipsed only by Indonesia, which is expected to see GDP jump by 6.4% in 2011 and 6.3% next year. Malaysia's economy will grow at a much the same rate as the Philippines, while Thailand's 2.4% increase in GDP is a far cry from the 4.2% Manila will enjoy based on World Bank projections. Yun ang growth rate which will have an impact on, on poverty. We'll be able to reduce poverty faster without putting the stability of the economy naman in danger. And even if the government remains optimistic, some Filipinos tend to lose hope. Nasaan ko ay maging maunlad yung pamumuhay. Magiging masagana. Sana magiging maganda naman ang yung year 2012 na to. Yung mga Pinoy ngayon mas lalong maghihirap yung 2012. The Philippine economy appears to be slowing, with most analysts revising the country's growth prediction. But with the Philippines' sound fiscal reserves, there are few concerns that the economic expansion will actually stall. Dale Devera, RPN News.